This is Gib Parrish and today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to calculate age-adjusted rates and why we use them and when we use them. Um, so in epidemiology if we want to know if people in one place are healthier than others um, and in other places we often start by looking at the mortality or the number of deaths that occur in different places. And uh, one of the first measures that we can use is called the crude mortality rate, uh, which is just the total number of people who die um, in a given place, divided by the number of people in the place, usually each year. Um, and here, this slide shows the crude mortality rates for California and for New York for 2009. And as you can see, the California crude mortality rate is 630 deaths per 100,000 people, whereas the crude mortality rate in New York is 750 deaths per 100,000 people. So some questions might come up as a result of this. Are these mortality rates high? <clears throat> Are they unexpected? Are the people in New York sicker than those in California and therefore dying at a higher rate? Um, Let's explore this. The age distribution of a population strongly influences its mortality rate. So could, for example, the difference in the deaths, uh, the crude mortality rates in California and New York be related to not just the place, but to the difference in the age distribution of the population in the two states? So um, in order to deal with this question, um, there is a method called um, age adjusting in which we try to adjust for any differences in the age um, structure of two different places. And uh, in doing so we can calculate what's known as an age adjusted mortality rate. The age adjusted mortality rate is very commonly used um, around the world, in fact, not only in the US but around the world, uh, in order to compare the mortality rates in different places uh, and also uh, to compare the rates of death in the same place but at different points in time because again the um, population age structure may change over time. Just talk briefly about the crude mortality rate. Let us again review what it is. It's the number of deaths in a population for a given time period divided by the total population at the midpoint of that time period and then it's usually multiplied by 100,000 in order to give us a mortality rate per 100,000 persons. Now in order to calculate the age adjusted rate uh, what we do is we actually need a list of the deaths by age group for the different places we're looking at and in this uh, slide we see the deaths by age group for California and New York in 2009. Notice that the number of deaths in California, the total is 232,000 as opposed to 146,000 in New York. Now, the next thing we do is we look at the population for each age group, which is our denominator for calculating a rate so that uh, in that same five to nine year old age group the population California is 2,584,266 and in New York 1,202,497. Next we take the deaths and the population for each age group and we calculate a crude rate or an age specific rate, same thing in this case, for um, each of the age groups. Again, in that five to nine year old age group, we take 287 divided by 2,584,266 and then multiply that by 100,000 and we get our crude rate per 100,000 of 20, sorry, of 11, excuse me, of 11 in California for the five to nine year old age group. We have the same crude rate in New York for that same age group of 11. And you can see how the uh, age specific rates here vary. Um, infant 
uh, age-specific rates, i.e. those in children less than a year old, are higher than for other childhood age groups and adolescents. And in fact, it's not until we get up to the roughly 55 to 64 year old age group that the uh, age specific mortality rate is higher than the infant mortality rate. And then it goes up from there all the way up to uh, roughly 12,000 deaths per 100,000 uh, for those who are 85 years and older. Uh, you will note also in looking at this that the uh, age specific rates for California and New York are actually really quite close. Um, which will be of interest as we proceed. Now, in this particular slide, there's also the crude mortality rates for the total population are listed at the bottom. You'll recall that it's 630 for California and 750 for New York. In this particular case, we've taken the entire number of deaths in California, 232,000 divided by the population of 36 million and multiplied by 100,000, and that gives us the um, crude mortality rate of 630. Next, um, we need to use a standard population or the same population which we will use to calculate the age adjusted rate for both of the places that we're interested in comparing. By picking a standard or the same population and using that for both places, we in fact sort of get a rid of or adjust for differences in the age distribution in the different places. So this particular population that's picked can be a real population or a made up or fictional population. Uh, we could use for example, the 2009 California population, the 2009 New York population. We could add the two together. We could use a US population in 2009, or we could even make something up. But in our particular case here, uh, in our example, let's use the California population as the standard for calculating our age adjusted mortality rates. So here we have listed under step six, the 2009 California population. You saw this before in an earlier step. In this step, we've also calculated what is called the weight or the population proportion for each of the age groups. So this is in fact the proportion that that age group uh, is of the total population in California. So for example, the infants or less than one year olds are 0 0.015 of the total population. That's the same as 1.5%. Um, and if you look at the very bottom, the total population of 36 million, the percentage of 36 million that 36 million is, is one. So uh, if you in fact add the weights here in the third column all up, uh, with the exception of the one at the bottom, the total, they will in fact total to one. The next thing we do is we take the crude rate for each of the states, for California and New York, and we multiply that by the, the crude rate, excuse me, for each age group or the age specific rates, and we multiply that by the population weight for the population that we've decided to use as our standard population for the calculations. So we see the California population listed both here and here under both California and New York because that's the population we will use. We then take the crude rate for a given age group, multiply that by the population rate population weight, excuse me, and we in fact then come up with a weighted rate per 100,000. Uh, we do that for each of these age groups. Once we complete that, we then add up these weighted rates for each of the age groups and sum that 
to give us the age adjusted mortality rate. And you will notice that the age adjusted mortality rate for California is in fact 630 and the crude rate was 630. Um, it's because the same population is being used for you know for the adjustment here at the California population. In the case of New York um, the crude rate was 750 but when we actually use get the weighted rate uh, for each of the age groups and then sum that we get an age adjusted mortality rate in New York of 643 um, which is closer to the age adjusted rate in California than the crude rates had been at the beginning. We compare the age adjusted mortality rates which I've just gone through they are actually relatively close suggesting that the crude rates, the differences in the crude rates, 630 versus 750, uh, may be due to a difference in the age structure or age distribution of the populations in New York and California, with the New York population being older. So, um, just to review, um, direct standardization, which is what we have done here for uh, mortality based on age, provides um, removes the unwanted effects of differences in the uh, distribution of a confounder in a population and in this particular case we're looking at age as the confounder. But uh, you should always remember that the age adjusted rates are not the real rates. Um, they are in a constructed rate but they are very useful for comparing different uh, populations and places. Doing uh, the standardization or age adjustment doesn't always make two rates more similar. They can actually become more different, in fact, when you adjust them, or they can remain unchanged. Um, the calculations, uh, we can actually, we compared two different places or populations in this example, but in fact, you can compare many different places. Um, so one could, in fact, calculate age-adjusted mortality rates for all the states in the United States for a given year uh, with some states, for example, having younger populations and others having older populations.